I mean, so like, I know about like, you know, all the rumors, like, you know, Luke and Jason, they had to be snuck out of like shopping malls and they couldn't go anywhere. Like, did that extend to you? Like, did it Andrea did attract that too? It was very, uh, when the show hit everybody, you know, we were working day in and day out. So we weren't cognizant of the, how big it was. And we, again, didn't have the internet. So you're not looking at social media. There was nothing like that. So when we, the show became, yes, when we really started to take off, everybody felt it. We, it was, uh, it was a phenomenon at the time. When you think about it, we couldn't go to the malls. We couldn't go. My family, I never went out alone, you know, for many years. Uh, and it, look, and I'm not complaining about it, but it was just, a, we didn't know how to manage it. It was, it's not something that people could tell you. We were lucky enough that the show did really well, but then suddenly we didn't know how to, we didn't know how to balance it all, right? It was just, it was really, really a challenge. And it was, sometimes it's scary because people don't always have boundaries and they would like race in and they would like grab at us. And, you know, so there was a lot of emotional, you know, young energy, everybody was around. It was just, it was intense yet, yeah, but we all experienced it and dealt with it differently. Everybody had their own, some became more reclusive. I think I was more like that. I didn't go out in public as much. Others kind of loved it and really pushed the envelope on it, you know, like, you know, like standing in the limos and, you know, standing up and waving and they loved that whole vibe. And it's a very, it's a very interesting, it was an interesting time. Who was the standing up in the limo and waving in their hands? Oh, well, you know, <laughs> they should tell their own stories. <laughs> I mean, I could take, I could take guesses. Uh -huh. <laughs> have you ever had like a scary or like a crazy fan story? Like I once had someone say like he was on general hospital and he's like, someone bought me a dog, like a living dog showed up and he's like, I don't want a dog. Mm -hmm. No, like, I well, had, that's pretty uh, interesting. There, there's a lot of things. I mean, from, I had somebody who wrote me from India saying he was my real father. My, and he said, we should have tests done to show that he was my father. Um, but from people my mom had been very sick. This was when I was in New York and I was walking down the street and I was crying. I was on the phone because she was going through a procedure. And somebody's like, oh my God, can I have your autograph? Can I? And I was like, can you think I'm crying right now? Like, can you not? You know, or people would follow me into the bathroom. That was a big one. Like, okay, let me just have a little privacy. I'll come out. But 